locker room and the guys coming back today for practice? Uh, just another week. Uh, Fro Coach Frost took care of us today. We were in spiders, and uh, you know, it was just the same Monday that we usually do. Same drills that we've done, same routine, same tempo. Um, but he, he did take care of us today, which was nice. How much of a relief is that after you know, kind of going through the grind of so many weeks in a row? Yeah, I mean, it's it was week seven. I mean, we've been, I mean, we've been put in work every week. I mean, there, I haven't seen us take one step back at all this whole this whole season. So for him to finally let us get a little break um, on a Monday before another big game was pretty nice. My body feels a lot better after after today. I don't know if it could have gone through another. Uh, Beating all this whole week, so really happy that he took care of us. You all take the steel line in, in practice every day. How is uh, Ben Hart, who's now going to be back in the starting lineup the last two weeks? How have you seen him handle this, the, the benching that, that Frost gave him? Yeah, I mean, I think it, it taught him a lesson that, I mean, every, anybody can take the job. You don't just get to take it just because you're older or you're bigger than somebody. I mean, Teddy is obviously just as big as him, so uh, there's that aspect, but. I think it, I think it added a little bit more fire fire to him, and I think he got a little bit more hungry to from being sitting on the bench for the past two weeks. And now that Teddy's down, he's coming back, and uh, I think we'll probably get a better uh, price. When you say you know you saw him a little bit more fire after that, where, where does that show up? I mean, I just when we go against each other, I mean his blocks are a lot harder. He's staying on blocks as well. Uh, he's giving good looks um, when we go out there against him, when we do good versus good. So he's doing all the right things, I think, that are headed to the right direction. D-line battered down a lot of balls against Michigan. Was that kind of an emphasis facing them? Yeah, uh, we, we knew that he was going to have a low release point um, for, the, for the game that he's had in previous games. So we just knew that everything was going to be quick three steps and that we just needed to get our hands up in the box so we can uh, bat down the balls. Ty, how, how are you just feeling seven weeks in, seven straight weeks of college football, physically, mentally? Where do you feel like you're at right now? I'm ready for this weekend. I mean, I'm ready to go at it again. I'm ready. Like I just said to them, they took care of us today, so tomorrow I get to come even harder and faster. And then Wednesday, even ramp it up even more. And then Thursday, we get to kind of wind it back down. And Friday, we start winding it back up. And then Saturday, we get to play uh, Big Ten football up in Minnesota. So. I'm excited for the league. My body, I mean, my body may be hurt, but I mean, we got the best things that down there to help our bodies recover. So if you're not taking advantage of that, then it's kind of dumb on you on my part. Like, have you learned in your time here just ways to, you know, pace yourself or to keep yourself ready during the grind of a college season? Oh yeah, uh, throughout practice. I mean, it's it's my goal to give my all to make sure I feel good about having a great practice, so I'm ready for Saturday. But then after, you know. I got school and I uh, balance that with going in the training room and stretching or getting in the tubs or doing some boot stuff or stem stuff, whatever that may be bothering me that day. But uh, yeah, I, I feel like I have a pretty good routine. What about mentally? What do you do to sort of relax yourself and, and take your mind off of football and all that stuff? I'm a big movie guy. I like to watch a lot of movies. Uh, I'm really a big homebody, so just staying at home, just kind of doing my own thing, just kind of not thinking about anything is kind of my way. Um, uh, usually I'm stuck with schoolwork, so I'm, I'm pretty much went from football to schoolwork, so there's really no break. But when I do, I get a chance. I kind of just take a step back and take a few deep breaths and kind of enjoy what my time off for a little bit. You got any reps for us? Seen anything good lately? <laughs> uh, we just went and saw the new James Bond movie. That was pretty good. Uh, I watched the Babadook for the first time. Um, I'm big mob guy, the Goodfellas. Goodfellas is a great movie as well. So that, that process of kind of taking care of your body as a college athlete, how did you go about learning that process? Because guys don't come in out of high school kind of figuring that out. Yeah, I, I started asking around my my teammates. Uh, Damian Daniels has really been good. He's really good at keeping, keeping care of his body, and so are uh, Damian Jackson and Chris Walker. I think they've helped me as well. And then Stilly along the lines has kind of helped me understand what I need to do. But I also have some outside influence to kind of help me understand what to do to get my legs back and what, what I kind of need to do to keep my body ready for each week. Does it give you some extra juice knowing that you've got another team that's going to really want to run the ball this week? Yeah. I, I mean, it's another week to prove myself and for our D-line to prove ourselves. Uh, I think we found a pretty good identity for our up front seven and in the box that nobody can run it inside of us. Uh, the only way you're going to beat us is you're going to have to running outside. So I, I really feel confident in that. And so I, I'd like to hold ourselves to that standard and 
can't play to that standard. How do you, so, go ahead. How do you feel about how you guys entered pressure? I mean, that was only the second sack uh, Michigan's led up all season. Oh, uh, I mean, we got back. I, there, there was a few pressures back there. I know first play I went out there, I saw Caleb Tanner smack him. Uh, and then another play, I was out there with uh, DeAndre Thomas. I saw him get smacked. Uh, he, he smacked the quarterback as well. I mean, we were getting back there. It's just their game plan wasn't around their quarterback. It was around their running back and their run game. So we knew that they weren't going to put the ball, the game in his hands. So we knew it was either going to be three-step, quick quick, uh, quick throw, or it was going to be something quick to the outside, nothing nothing over the middle. What's challenging about slowing that Minnesota run game down? They're just big up front. I mean, it's going. we're going to have to be able to hold our ground and really be stout in our gaps so we don't get pushed around, which I think we're, we really can do that if we just stick to our fundamental technique and kind of the way we've been playing this whole year as well. I mean, I just feel like we're a whole different defensive line. I mean, we've been coming out with aggression and intensity every single game. I don't think I've, you guys have seen us slow down once. So I think, like, I, let's just tell them that's our identity, that's our standard that we play up to. Well, you, did you travel with that 2019 game? I did not, no. Okay. So, I mean, they you feel like you guys kind of own one based on the last couple of games? For sure, yeah. I mean, that, I mean, I watched that 2019 game. My guys looked like they didn't want to be out there in the cold. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> then come here and to have them only have 40, 40 guys on the rosters or whatever, and then they come in here and beat us, it's kind of like a, you know, what the heck's going on? COVID year, I mean, it's a weird year, but it's no excuse. So, um, but with that mindset and that kind of intensity that we're bringing, I mean, yeah, we, we I think we owe them one. So is, the, I, is this a, I mean, this is a team, I don't know anybody would call Minnesota rival, but it feels like this is a program you guys want to beat. I mean, yeah. Uh, with, I mean, we want to beat everyone sure. just as much. Uh, but Minnesota, I guess you kind of have a rival. I don't really have nothing against them, really. I mean, I've only played against them once last year when they were at their, one of their lowest points, right? So, I mean, I don't really know much, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let them know who I am on Saturday. All good? Thank you.